Not around. That's what you call the lazy man's way. Everybody kind of sits in your seat and kind of raise your hands up. But Chip Brindle, Tony Knowles, number one and number two. Jody Knowles and Michael Page right behind him. Luke Jenkins and Donald McIntosh. Tyler Millwood and Diamond Dave as they head into turn three and four. Hey, green we go. Them Nose Boys at it as they head down on the backside. Tony Knows, he's got the advantage. In comes Jody. Michael Page here, three wide down in the corner. Millwood down on the bottom. Whoa, and Millwood, he goes into the spin cycle over in turn as three. he comes around. How about a big hand? Mark Bunch out of Calhoun, Georgia. And we'll go to green. And Chip Brindle. Smoking down off turn number two and down on the back straightaway. Michael Page, you see where he's headed. He's digging like an old farm all tractor down on the back straightaway. But Chip Prindle working hard down the corner. Here come the number 59 car of Dale Thurman. He moves up into that number five spot past Donald McIntosh as they hit down the back side into turn three. Caution over in turn number two. Uh, Tyler Millwood. Win number in two the, in a row here at Dixie Speedway. Into the corner they go as they come down off turn number four. And we're off to the races again here at the historical Dixie Speedway. Tony knows Michael Page working against each other on the backside. Jody knows Dale Thurman. Here come the flash, Ronnie Johnson on the high side down in the corner. Michael Page in the RSD. Number 18 car. The Pink Panther working hard on the back straightaway. He moves up into the number two spot. Dale Thurman, he and Jody Nose continue to battle it out as Diamond Dale goes into the number four spot and here come Ronnie Johnson. Johnson on the move, over on the back straightaway. Johnson can go high, he can go low. Let's see what he'll do. Coming down here on the front straightaway. Ronnie Johnson in that number five spot on the Coca-Cola scoreboard. No stranger to this three-eighths of a mile clay bank racing over the historical Dixie Speedway as he and Dale Thurman battling it out down there in turn number one and number two. on the 59 and the 5 as they head down on the backside. Chip Brindle with a big lead over Michael Page as they exit off turn number 4 and down the front straightaway. Tony Knowles right behind him as they cross the start finish line stripe and here come Wayne Eccles out of coming Georgia. Gotta tell you, Chip Brindle has found something. Looks like he might have found that quarter inch block that maybe Buster Goss might have put under the accelerator. I don't know, but he is flying here tonight at Dixie, just like he was last Saturday night.
Michael Page, Tony Nose continue to battle it out. Dale Thurman, Ronnie Johnson. Four and five on the board. Johnson going down on the low side. Just can't get her to stick down at the bottom. Craig Scott, he pulls her into the pit area. He'll call it a knot. As your leader, Chip Brindle, coming off turn number four in that corn tassel bonding golf body shop car. Junior Day right in front of us. Junior, so good to see you. One of the all-time greats here at Dixie Speedway. And Wayne Eccles out of Cummins, Georgia. He'll bring out the yellow laundry. We head back to Racing Green down on the back straightaway. And Tony Knowles working hard on your leader, Chip Brindle, down in the corner. But I'm telling you, Chip Brindle's found him a home up on that high side. Tony Knowles going to try to lay in there with him. Here come Michael Page. He's down on the inside. And Ronnie Johnson, high, wide, and handsome. He loves that high side. He loves the low side too. But Ronnie Johnson, he now moves up into the number three spot. Michael Page not gonna give it up without a fight as they cross the start finish line with Ronnie Johnson solidly in that number three spot on our Coca-Cola scoreboard over in turn number three. Now Ronnie Johnson, 12 laps away from Peter. Does he got enough time? I don't know. Somebody help me out as they head to Racing Green. Tyler Millwood, along with uh, Jody Knowles, battling it out for position. Here comes Luke Jenkins. And looks like caution going to come out for Ricky Williams out of Fayetteville, Georgia. Three and the RSD starts right there, and Tyler Millwood has made his way from the back of the pack up to the number six spot here tonight here at Dixie Speedway. And we're going to green. And here come Ronnie J. Woo! The old and the new. Chip Brindle, one of the young lions, Ronnie J. One of the KG veterans bagging them up on the back straight away. They get a little bit of breathing room from the rest of the field as they come off turn number four. Guarantee you, Ronnie Johnson driving the wheels off the Chattanooga flash car. Chip Brindle working hard on the backside. The Corn Tassel Bonding Company car. Ronnie J in the Neesmith Chevy. I'm telling you, he came all the way from the back. He's coming up into the number five spot right now. Tyler Millwood on the back straightaway. He tries to crack the top five as we put lap number 24 on the board here tonight here at Dixie Speedway. Whoa! Caution on the front straightaway. Jody knows Tracy Watson. Oh boy. Tracy Trails Watson. Pound and uh, laughs to determine who is going to get into the winner's circle here tonight at Dixie Speedway, and we're going to green. Ronnie Johnson going to try the inside as caution coming out. Folks, I don't know about you, but I don't know how much more well, my turn nerves can take. Four. Tony knows right in there amongst them. Oh, green goes down. Uh, <clears throat> three wide, just about. They stack them up on the backside. 
Ronnie J in the number two spot. Nose into three, Michael Page, Tyler Millwood. Your top five on the Coca-Cola scoreboard. Gotta be. Chip Brindle laying right in there. Chip Brindle has found him a good spot. He has not wavered from that spot all night long here at Dixie Speedway. Ew. Folks, I saw smoke coming out of that 24 car. I don't know if that's tire smoke or engine smoke. Just a couple of laps away from Peter. Can Brindle keep it together down on the back straightaway? Woo, Nelly. Folks, it ain't over with. The white flag's down, but that don't matter. That don't matter, because here come Tony Knowles. This is the flag that counts, the checkered flag for Chip Brindle. Can he do it? He'll make it two in a row here tonight at Dixie Speedway. Tony Knowles, Ronnie Johnson, Michael Page, and Tyler Millwood will round out the top five here tonight. And uh, three Speedway. laps later, buddy, and that was a hard-fought super late model victory right here at Dixie Speedway, buddy. I'll tell you what, we got our money's worth on that. Yeah, like I said, you know, uh, any time out here with uh, when you see at number five and that 26 up on the board behind you, it just makes you drive that much harder, you know. But uh, none of this would be possible, like I said, without Buster Goss and all the team, uh, everybody that helps out, Dennis, Brandy, Stacy, and Zach, and uh, Todd, uh, all them guys that work their butt off make it all possible. And uh, just want to give all them guys a big thanks. Well, I'll tell you what, a big thanks and two of them in a row for you. So I'll tell you what, that's pretty good, my friend. Two in a row here at Dixie with a competition in the Super Late Mile Division. Definitely uh, definitely something to be proud of. Like I said, I'll take any of them I can get. Uh, it don't matter. If we're racing goats out in the field, I want to be first when we go across the line, you know. So uh, I, uh, I just uh, it's amazing to get two in a row. Hey, congratulations. Chip will get you up there trackside. Good job, buddy. Hey, race fans, Chip Brindle. Hey, I tell you what, this young man, two in a row. Give him a great round of applause.